Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Wolong Fallen Dynasty. I'm the Mysterious JG. We're basically playing Neo in uh, the Three Kingdoms. But even so, not quite. It's uh, it's much more offensively minded and momentum based than Neo. It seems to me. the uh, Some real trouble with the first boss and things have calmed down a bit. And story-wise, we are hanging out with Guan Yu and Zhang Fei, and just kind of fighting yellow turbans. And that's kind of it. That's sort of what's happening. So I think we could ignore that guy. Head for this gate, which we opened last video. Well, we didn't actually open it. I opened it off-screen, but I got to where you would have opened it, and therefore felt comfortable using it. And now we're fighting our way through sort of the last stretch of this level. This guy right here. We want to do as much initial damage as we can before he detects what's going on at all. And I think we did that. A prize worth far more. A Wu Huan cavalry hat? Uh, kind of don't think so. Gold is pretty valuable, but it's actually better than this one, except that this one we've spent resources powering up, so I feel kind of dumb about that. This has ammo held max, plus one, spirit damage, stone resistance, whatever. These would, in fact, be better. But yeah, I spent resources at the blacksmith leveling up Wapits and then... And you kind of want to use them forever, but that's not always going to be what happens. So this is another little battle that you're cheated out of seeing because I did this off screen. I think there was a non-recurring battle here of guys guarding that last flag. And then the, uh, the major flag, rather. And then the last... Uh, little optional minor flag. I guess they're all optional. But there's one up here being guarded by one of these guys. We detected our friends, I guess. Didn't detect us, but detected our friends. Trying to let my uh, tiredness wear off, but it's it takes forever. But anyway, there's a little a little flag that you get up here after you kill him. There it is, and uh, as a result, this is the last one that you hit. We're at 25 uh, readiness. Hopefully, that will be enough. We're about to fight something that I've won this fight off screen, but I've also lost it off screen a lot. So we'll see how well I do on the first attempt here. There's like a single guy here with his back to us. So that you've always got a few points you can grab. Tiger seal. Otherwise, what's going on down here? Now, the, the plot of this level is the yellow turbans are hiding in these valleys, and we're trying to root them out. But Liu Bei is injured, and he and some lady are on their way to some place. And we're helping clear the yellow turbans who are in the way. So I wonder who the boss might be for this level. The enemy mm -hmm. is almost upon us. Please, my lord, order a retreat. Please? 
Is that the order of a retreat? He's saying hi? Hi! Okay, well, thanks for the encouragement, boss. Oh. Oh. Those foolish enough to stand before us shall know true regret for their folly. Zhang Bao, the general of heaven. We already beat the general of... No, he's the general of earth. We beat the general of man. Frosty Wappets. <laughs> Having our friends here really helps make this fight a lot easier than it would be otherwise. I thought I evaded whatever this is, but I guess I didn't. Okay. So poorly. She's like halfway dead now. Yeah, I'm I'm overdoing it on offense here. Okay. Now there's a special gimmick here where he gets allies. We need to be defeated. Because I didn't realize this the first time I fought him, and I got him to like, he's 90% dead, but he wouldn't go down. So you've got to get rid of the. Oh, wait, they won the fight without me. Okay, never mind, they beat him. I thought you had to defeat those guys. <laughs> he's got these guys hanging around him. I thought you had to defeat him. Because I kept getting him to like. 10% health left and he wouldn't die. Um, so that went unusually easily, actually. Ha! He can blather away in the afterlife now. Brother, you know what to do. <laughs> I was hoping we could pause, but... Come on! Let's get it done! You have to join our blood oath that we already have with Liu Bei. You have to replace Liu Bei completely. Bear witness to our unshakable bond and unbreakable will. So yeah, we become the blood brothers of Guan Yu and Zhang Fei and get presumably kick Liu Bei out. Is that what's happening now? Corrupt officials, eh? That's good. I will do justice to them for what the law has not done. Okay. My dutiful blade has slain thousands of scoundrels. So we've got no people covering children's eyes so they won't see the brutal crimes of Guan Yu and Shang Fei. Like me. As true warriors, we are honor bound to defend the innocent. I'll prove I'm no mere brawler. I want to see people smiling again. And I'll do what it takes so they can. With the help of Anjin San. And there you go. 
So yeah, I'm I'm kind of surprised at how that went. Well, I'm glad it did. Like I said, I'd won that off screen before. I've also lost it off screen. What traditionally happens is I would get to the point where I'd either get killed by flame damage what? because I was being too aggressive. We've not done that since back at the peach orchard. Indeed. My soul has not been stirred like that. Hey, you guys, you out there? Are you out there kicking me out of our blood bond? You are unharmed. The yellow turban soldiers have left the area. Take the path behind Well, he, the he told them not to falter, and of course, then he burned them. Well, I'm glad I swore a blood oath forever. I'm glad I swore to be your brothers and hang and, you know, be with you forever, but I'm leaving immediately. We will follow and no doubt meet again. Assuming you don't get yourselves killed. I guess we left the part about dying on the same day in defense of the Han out of our little, like, supplemental oath. <laughs> no, that's a weird sequence. Like, they wanted to... So what they wanted to do there with that scene is... is kind of recreate the oath in the Peach Garden, which Liu Bei, Guan Yu, and Zhang Fei take in Chapter 1 of Romance of the Three Kingdoms. Um, it just doesn't make sense that Guan Yu and Zhang Fei would take an oath with some other guy who's not Liu Bei later. I guess they're just, like... They're recreating, and it's like it would be like recreating your wedding vows with like your your new girlfriend after you uh, divorce your wife. Like it doesn't work. So it'd be, but this is like a three way. So it'd be like if you were in some kind of like um, tripart marriage, and one of your two spouses was not there, so you found some other person, and you and your one of your spouses <laughs> did uh, did your wedding vows with some other person. I don't know. It doesn't make sense. But anyway, no, that boss, uh, the. Um, the general of um of earth yeah he basically teleports around he has this one thing where he like there's this little flash that he's doing something special then he teleports it appears right next to you and does a uh, unblockable grapple which he did to me once usually i'm able to avoid that that time i was like oh crap i didn't quite see it coming in time but mostly he just does fire attacks and um uh, and near the end of the fight he does this thing where um he summons guys who are these wizards, and they don't fight. They just stand around on the corners of the arena, and if you don't kill them, they keep healing them. So I thought you had to defeat them before you could beat them, but apparently not, because um, Guan Yu and Zhang Fei killed him while I was off dealing with the minions. And usually you lose that battle either. You get yourself killed while Guan Yu and Zhang Fei are both still fine, because you're being too aggressive, and you're, you're supposed to use the... Um, the sort of parry command against the flames so if you time that wrong and you get hit with the flames a lot you can die um and then the other way that you can lose is it's like if, they, if you let the battle linger too long zhang fei and guan yu will get uh eventually will get overwhelmed and, and taken out and that's what tended to happen to me before i was trying to be careful and not take damage from the fires uh and it's rather difficult to deal with the guys who are healing him if he is focused on you if he's focused on Guan Yu or Zhang Fei, you're fine. So that's what happened there. Is like that. That was like went quite smoothly, actually. Travel to another battle. So we're going to select another battlefield. There's not really that much point, but uh, so far I've showed everything on screen. So we have a sub battlefield, Tale of Gui Guzi. Oh, no, that's not what I want. There's the Yellow Heaven Burns. The Yellow Turbans have taken over Mount Dongshan. We're defeated. However, according to Huang Fu Song, the general sent by the Imperial Court, the remnants have assembled under a new commander and continue to plague Mount Dongshan. Huang Fu Song is a strategy to remedy the problem. Helping him implement the plan will surely be appreciated. So I'm kind of torn on whether to redo these fights or not. This is just a subsection. Uh, well, actually, no, this does seem to be an all-new map. Maybe I'll do it because it's an all-new map. But it's not really a story battle. Like, Huang Fu Song is there at the very beginning. There's no cinematic. He's just there, and you can talk to him, and he has, like, one line. And then you just fight through a bunch of generic yellow turbans, and you get to the end. And there's a guy who is kind of a souped-up regular soldier, and he's the boss of the level. He doesn't even have, like, a stamina, like, a health meter that appears on the screen... Uh, with his name. He's just a souped up guy who has like a, a single line of dialogue and you fight him and he's the boss. Whereas that other thing, monsters have appeared in the valley. That's just a straight up rematch with one of the earlier bosses. Um, I'm not sure why they they don't make that clearer than they do. 
but you just go in and have a straight up rematch with a boss you've already fought. So, I mean, we've already made suboptimal decisions with the gear. I leveled up uh, this, you know, like helmet, and we found a slightly better helmet of the same type that we could have put the resources into instead. It'll be fine, though. And you see, here's a guy who's dressed like we are, kind of. These yellow turban remnants are giving us quite a bit of trouble. You're with the militia, yes? We could use your help in this battle. And by we, I mean me, because I'm alone here. I'm supposed to be the general in command, but I don't actually have troops. And no one's actually going out to assist you. It's just you by yourself against these guys. And as you'll find, like, the first yellow turban we encounter is pretty much within... Almost within visual range. I don't know why the yellow turbans don't go forward and kill Wang Fung Song, who is the, the you know, the the general. Yeah, like that guy. Why doesn't he just attack Wang Fung Song? Anyway, we're, uh, again, because I've already done this off screen, we've already got uh, all the flags and we're starting off at a bit of an advantage over where we should be, but we can hopefully still have some fun here. Time that wrong, obviously. But I avenged a couple of guys. Bezo official. Glad I was able to avenge Bezo official. All right, so I'm just going to creep around this level. There's a whole bunch of to this level. And if you want to find all the flags, you got to fully explore. If you don't, uh, you can go straight to where the boss is, but, um, oh, wow, what a jerk, sure, that's a pretty annoying way to start, I'm gonna reset here, I don't mean I'll have to fight this guy again, but so be it. We're getting better at sneaking helps you. Now in every direction there are going to be range dudes who can be a pain in the ass before you get a chance to deal with them. This guy, for example. Oh shit. I messed up. I didn't mean to come down here. Luckily, he has uh, not particularly good. Yeah, and he even turned in the right direction to catch me and still didn't manage to do it. Where'd he go? Oh. Nice. Okay. But I am taking down guys who appear to be part of a unit together. Why my control seems so bad here. This guy here will harass you if you just come straight through the gate, as you might think would be the normal way to proceed. And I avenged Nautical Wallet, who got murdered by a little puppers. Aww. And it's ever, it's not necessarily meant to be a stealth game, but I enjoy killing dudes. Uh, even as I wander around in heavy armor, I enjoy killing from the shadows. Oh, I didn't realize you were here. I wouldn't have been quite that careless. 
No, I certainly didn't realize you were here. Thought I remembered another ranged guy harassing me, though. Robert Denby Styles. That was annoying that I turned my back to him by mistake for a second and lost everything. On the other side of that is kind of where the actual boss is, but we'll, uh... Oh, well, let's see. Might as well use the dragon pot there. Uh, I tried to jump up and... Whatever. Add a little computer noise. How did you even hear me? Man, I'm avenging all sorts of dudes, getting lots of accolades. Boop. I'm surprised I didn't one-shot him there, but I guess I mistimed the attack. But yeah, this is, as in the old, the old Neo, we have our little side missions that you don't have to do where you can, you know, totally ruin your element of surprise on a guy like I just did there. Thanks for hopping down, friend. Made it a lot easier. Oh, I can level up, bitches. I need to bear that in mind. But anyway, here's the guy who was harassing us before. Shooting at us from all the way up here when we poked into that door. And I don't think I realized there's a fairly easy path to get to him, or I would have, you know, taken it and killed him from there. But I didn't realize, so... And there was a little flag up here. Uh, a lot of these levels are just laid out so that these side flags that give you a little morale boost are the reward for exploring. Since, so, so, you know, there's no Kadama and they don't want to put, like, incredible long-term game-changing treasure in every single nook and cranny. Thought I saw something to take in there. Damn it, I got them both out. Wow, fuck. I'm watching too many lethal feline let's plays recently. If such a thing is possible. Okay, I didn't realize one of them is ranged. You got my way of finishing this guy off! Jerk. Well, they keep giving me dragon pot uses, uh, which might there be their way of telling me to move on to a new level. They're not going to give me loot drops anymore of a permanent nature. 
But yeah, again, this is they're just guarding this flag. There's no reason for me to really come in here on a second playthrough other than wanting to showcase it. So there's various paths around that all get you to the same place. Eventually you get out over... Oh, that was fancy. Eventually you make your way out over to here. You take this little side path if you want to. But it all leads to this little mini temple here. I'm getting past it. I'm trying to figure out where to go from here. There's this guy you can mortify. He's just sort of guarding this little corner. All right. I don't know what else is uh, over here. This might kind of be it. I think those guys were... Maybe another guy or two out here somewhere, but... This is the last one you can hit. We want to avoid... I'll tell you what. We'll, we'll refight those enemies, but... I want to make sure we save before we move on to end this level. In case we mess anything up. If we get killed in the final fights on the inside of this cave, then... We could potentially lose our progress towards leveling, and that would be bad. Uh, gained when attacking, affects HP and spirit loss when attacked. This would be slightly harder now because. We don't get the drop on the human enemy, although the human enemy didn't chase. I guess he's ranged. Which I say and then immediately don't take the proper precautions against him. I guess I'm getting this game a little bit confused with... Um, uh, Ghost of Tsushima, where ranged enemies are basically powerless as long as you hold the block button after you've gained the air effortlessly block all arrows skill. Now if you come up here, you can see this loot that we were able to see before from the other side of weird red stuff. But yeah, this cave is basically the end of the level. We have a guy I just plain old forgot about here or didn't notice until it was too late. And over here, you've got... Well, here's where your last guys are. And this is the problem. There's a group of them together. Bokai is the boss. Then you just got regulation guys. That, I think, is the exit. Or is that the exit? Where's this going? The, that's the entrance. Never mind. That leads to that little place you can climb up. Okay. So what's the best way to deal with these guys? Thank <laughs> you. 
problem is you want to try to get rid of, uh, ideally you'd get rid of some of his, uh, support. a good way to do it. It'll take more than killing me to stop the march of the yellow turbans. Will it though? Great sage mentor. I'm about to lose here, aren't I? Ow. I really don't want to be fighting these guys at the same time. That's the problem I've got. Okay. This makes a huge difference. And that I'm now going to win instead of lose. Oh, you're still alive. No, you're not. Okay, good. Yeah, the. I guess I should have uh, headshotted one of the guys who wasn't him first, in the hopes I could have killed him off completely. But anyway, there you go. That's. Um... And this video will go long, but I think I'll just quick do this one, Tale of Gui Guzi, because that way we can start a new sto story mission next time. Y'all, turban remnants of. Situated in the valley, were defeated, however, the countless sacrifices and the rhetoric rituals applied to the air, luring demons back. They cannot be allowed. Get rid of the demons. So hopefully this doesn't take me 15 minutes and is a big cluster, but if we can do a quick fight here uh, and clear this battle, because it's just a single fight, we will uh, be ready to go back to new uh, the next main story map next time. It'll be content I haven't seen in the next video. Because like I said, I, uh, I was playing around this game during my recovery from surgery and uh, intending to recreate it for you on screen as I'm doing, but forgetting that, oh, you'll, when you, we're not realizing when I revisit a level I've already cleared, uh, I'll already have all of the flags found. So that whole like exploring the level for the first time, won't well, that experience isn't quite recreated. Okay. This can't be good. So you hit this. And basically where we're at is this is the boss chamber from the last uh, mission where we fought Zhang Bao. And there's nowhere else to go. So what do we do? We, we're going to have some kind of boss to fight here. Who's it gonna be? It's gonna be the giant monkey. I'm doing kind of a terrible job, but... I thought I healed her back. Oh, she's gone, gone? Well, crap, that's no good, because, uh... I did win this little fight off screen goofing around, but uh, I had her help. She was down for too long without me supporting her.
Well, I'm going to lose this one. So, crushing defeat, but I think my spirit stays the same. I think I'm just at 20 of 20 for this whole thing. So, yeah, I guess it was a bad idea to try to squeeze this in before we moved on, but... Yeah, and don't ditch this time, okay? I think she's doing better now, right? Yeah. See this, so that she'll get health back. Although not in a... I tried to do the block. Oh well. Although I am, because I hit the jump button instead of the evade button there. Oh, why am I doing extra long videos of this series? This is one of the ones where it's good to get 30 minutes in and then be done. Because I think this is supposed to um, help with defense. Okay, well, at least I brought her back instead of if she dies outright. I know you're in trouble. I, I appreciate your practice as primary target, but... I'm getting, like, no damage done on him, though. Need to heal her before she disappears, but uh And he goes after her. Well, I'm kind of in trouble too, you know. So then you're done. Fine. All right. We'll, we'll we'll beat him on the next video. I'm annoyed with myself for having gone into this. 
when we come back next time, we are going to beat this monkey guy, because I know we've done it before. And then we'll go on with a new story mission. See you then.